my own human depravity. I'll just say it like this, even if unbelievers are watching my videos. When you fast, as in you don't eat or drink water, or maybe like you don't eat something and drink a little water. I like to call this the thinning of the veil. And also, the thinning of the veil also happens to people when they do drugs, they drink. As in, what do I mean by the thinning of the veil? As in, this physical realm that we're actually in, on behind the curtain of this physical realm is the spiritual realm. New Age or some Buddhist world are talking to that. Especially when you don't eat, you fast. Um, something is happening that's spiritual when we fast, obviously. That you can. You're more in tune with what the Holy Spirit says. It's, as far as I, as far as it goes for me, I can hear. And be more sensitive to the spiritual voice, Holy Spirit. And you're more in tune with all the spiritual aspects of things in life going on around you, whether it be good, evil. But I can go ahead and tell you, you're more in tune with the war that is going on from our physical realm into the spirit realm. The thinning of the veil is basically like you think at the time three in the morning, where they call it the thinning of the veil, or the veil is being lifted up more and more. But it's like, imagine a wall, and it's just getting thinner and thinner and thinner. And it's like really thin, like almost pencil thin. But it's easier for you to pick up and see spiritual things going on and things coming in our world and out of our world. Through those things of knowing the veil is being thin, and especially with me, that think of the veil if I fast or do something but especially if I'm doing wrong I recognize even through fasting or especially if I've done something wrong or anything and I'm in tune more with the Holy Spirit and His voice of my own depravity as just being human being human The truth of human depravity is being able to recognize your own fallen state. And a lot of people don't want to ask the question, do I need a savior? You can see it through all the movies or songs or whatever else that like. I guess you could say it always goes back to reflecting on certain things like why do we have these hero movies why do we have all this like certain things like are human beings still in a fallen state do we have depravity and if so how do we recognize it do I need a savior yes we need a savior as human humanity and as the human race in general and eventually we're all going to come together we're going to have different sides but whatever side you choose to pick there's always that consequence for whatever side you're going to pick, you will pick. But there's, you know, choose Christ today. But the one thing I can say that how I recognize my own human depravity. Am I a fallen creature? Am I a fallen human being? Do I need a savior? fallen. I do need a savior. The depravity. We kind of view our sin as we're covered in oil or something. But with a savior comes the redemption. You being redeemed. Something Adam that I believe God never saw Adam that he could do. Adam and Eve they couldn't do. He already saw before it happened. see something in his chosen ones that Adam and Eve could have never done. Being redeemed and restored back to the family of the Most High God. 
washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Fixed back. Back into the family of the Most High to God. Restored. Fixed. Redeemed. Restored. Fixed. That's sort of my take on it. God bless him and empire us. That's beautiful.